Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obita Potato. This is pre-dynastic Egypt. Um, okay, so in the last episode, we did the, uh, the, the Blessing of Horus thing, which gives us hunting and fishing plus two. We've got that for another turn, so we're going to keep our workers, uh, you know, hunting and fishing for a while longer. But after that... We've got this field that we want to build, which is going to, yeah, build field of grain in two areas. That is going to give us uh, a little bit of something, something on the side. And after that, I think we just, we just head back to scouting, I think. Uh, we've got a couple more turns of preparing for war with this tribe, which, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's not exactly uh, the greatest thing in the world, but hey-ho. Okie doke. You guys are back to normal. Can we remove you and remove you? Thank you. So, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it takes 15, 15, uh, 15 hammers to build the field. Now, I do want to scout, but do I want to scout with both people? I don't really know if I want to scout with both people. We also need houses, but houses are something that's going to take a little bit longer to uh, to be researched. 30, uh, whatever you call it, culture, that's the word. Um, I'm going to put you on there and you on there, because that will allow our food to continue to increase, which means that we will eventually hit that, uh, that 26, that number that we need to get uh, a brand new worker. But we'll, we'll be able to do that after, of course. Uh, we hit uh, the population that we need to build a house. Uh, in the meantime, though, I think scouting is probably a definite priority. Alright, nothing happened. We're going to finish this war very, very soon, which I'm very, very interested to see. Okay, this is actually better for us. I'm going to swap on over here, and we can actually equip you to do this job, because now... We should be in a position where we're not going to lose nearly as much uh, production. So you can just stick around here for one turn, I think. And that should be good enough. What is this? A new god. Besides Horus, our priests suggest that we begin honor and make sacrifices to a new bird god. It will become an additional burden, but, uh, but this god will help us for certain. Uh, plus 10% culture, uh, lose 3% every cycle, or... Sure. Sure. I mean, food is a something that I have quite a lot of, and as soon as we uh, finish our war in a turn, then we should be golden. Uh, now, we do have the appropriate amount of production at this point, so we shouldn't actually need to uh, keep that guy producing hammers. We can probably just send this guy back to the scouting area. Uh, also, we're going to need to get primitive dwellings, which is going to allow us to build houses. No real idea what that will mean for us. I mean, how do I build houses? I don't know how to build houses. Maybe it'll become available next turn. Hey, our men approached the borders of the Cownut tribe and... Uh, are ready to begin the raid. Their warriors are known as weak. Probability of success, 90%. In case of success, our total loot, 31 hammers. In case of failures, we lose two workers. Um, attack. There we go. Fantastic. Our relations have gotten worse. And uh, plus five culture. Fantastic. Now, is there anything else that I can do to these guys? Like, can I just continue to go back to them? They're known as hostile to us. Um... Subdue? In case of success, we will subdue the tribe having lost one worker. Raid? Do we raid again? I mean... I don't really know. Is that something that we want? It will require ten turns before they could return to the previous level of wealth, but we can attack them again after five. I don't think I really want to attack them again. Uh, Badari culture, that is something that we're going to get probably quite soon. Uh, what are you on? Three turns? I guess we'll... I guess we'll just continue to scout, right? In fact, it seems silly to scout down here. We could be scouting up here because that will allow us to reveal some more 
turf, hopefully. So we'll get a little bit of a better understanding. But anyway, let's do this. Um, so construction will have finished. Beautiful. Uh, one time ward of plus 10, uh, plus 10 food. Awesome. Permanent housing. Goal, increase the tribe to 8. Worker creation price, minus 20%. One time award, 20 food and 30 hammers. Honestly, I I love the rewards that give me that give me the hammers. That is that is dope. How do I How do I build a hut though? How do I actually build a hut? It is time to build a settlement. I would love to know how to build a settlement. Ah, okay, so it is actually up here. We'll, okay, so we'll build over there, I guess. That's what it's kind of telling me. Population limit plus three improves area by one hammer. All right. If uh, if that's the way you want to play it, it's going to take us three turns. Six turns is 18 total. Uh, we've got more than enough saved up production to power through that grand. Um, I feel like I should do something about this. I feel like I should do something about this. Um, we'll raid them again when we have the opportunity to do so. Conquer this tribe and capture the lands. Attack in five turns. Preparation cost minus three food every five turns. Uh, every turn. In case of success, we will subdue the tribe having lost one worker. I think we want to do that, right? We merge the tribes. Um, we can also create a brand new worker, which is pretty much exactly what we want. Now that does present us with a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's put you over there, because why not work the field? Might as well. Grand. Uh, that's a good point. We have actually exceeded the worker limit. I should have thought about that, but I was getting a little bit ahead of myself because the houses that we are building are coming shortly, but not there yet, unfortunately. Uh, let's try and stem the flow of the fact that we're losing food. Might as well try our very best. Uh, what about this? Cost seven? We don't actually gain any authority due to our overpopulation. So that kind of sucks a little bit. Let's just let's just hold it for now. Let's just hold it. We can actually make a discovery, which is grand. Field of flax, awesome. Let's do it, discover that. Strengthening of the goat tribe, fantastic. Uh, probability of attack has risen somewhat, but no matter, we shall, we shall overcome. Uh, two turns until our overpopulation problem is resolved, but until then I think that we just stay on our present course and try not to fuck things up further, actually. Uh, well, that was complete wank and pretty much worthless. We did find seven production, though, so not a complete failure. Uh, let's continue our scouting endeavors. Hey! Good stuff. There we go. Plus three population limit improves area by plus one production. I mean, it doesn't look like the most visually striking village that I've ever seen, but it'll do for now, I suppose. Uh, the resources that you will need. The Sanctuary of the Falcon. Five turns before the... I've got all of these resources, but not enough of any of them, actually. Uh, we've got one worker spare. We should probably start sticking it into food, I guess. Um, where will it build? It'll build over here. How much is that going to take? Uh, 21 production. Let's actually build that. I'm totally down to clown. Um, I do not think, however, that I'm actually going to set the dude to build it right away. We'll actually do that next turn, I think. I'm going to save up all of my current values. I don't know why, um... I don't know why we're waiting to do this, but we'll wait the we'll wait the five turns and then we'll do 
and then we'll do that event, and then we'll go and see. Uh, yeah, so you scout whilst we wait for that Sanctuary of the Falcon bollocks to trigger. And then we'll do something about it. Hey! And are ready to begin the conquest of the land. The warriors are known as weak, probably success, 100%. In case of success, we will conquer this tribe for one worker. Awesome. Hey! Our losses, minus one worker. Sucks, but hey-ho. Grand. Good stuff. And that is three production there. That is remarkable. And as a consequence, we had uh, minus 10% in chance of being attacked. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, we need 21, 21 food to get another worker, but we're not going to get a worker until, you know, D-Day, so to speak. We're still waiting for that five-turn shenanigan thing to pass. Okay, what is this down here? That was nothing? Really? Bidari culture? Oh, great. Fantastic. I didn't even realize that we'd done that. We should discover Bidari culture. We can almost get that, actually. We need 60. We'll get it soon. It's not ages away, but it's a while away. Uh, let's continue scouting whilst we wait for this Sanctuary of the Falcon nonsense to trigger. Hey, great. We've worshipped the Falcon for a long time, and this honor must belong to us. Uh, the workers are awaiting your order, eager to start. The workers in other settlements have already started their construction and hope to finish it in 10 turns. Start building the Sanctuary of the, Fast, uh, the, Sanctuary of the Falcon in the buildings menu as soon as possible. Uh, where the hell is that? Unable to construct. Workers are busy. Unavailable to construction. Uh, we should be able to we should be able to build this right I don't know why we can't build this requirement builders are busy oh is that a technology oh shit they're act they're busy building this thing can we get rid of this or is that not possible Fuck. All right. Well, that was a bit of a mistake, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll deal with it. Let's stop building this and start harvesting some production. Uh, because I think we're probably going to need production more than anything. Uh, one time free honor in the cult menu. Oh, that is awesome. I will totally take that. Uh, accelerate the building by two turns. I think we'll actually totally do that. Sign me up, buttercup. Unfortunately, that is not its not the greatest thing, but it's good enough. It's good enough for now. All right, perfect. The greening of Zahara is a little bit of an excuse to get some extra food. That's fantastic. We're one turn away from finishing that. What do we want now? Uh, duh, 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 duh. I don't think we want food. I think we want this, right? The early cosmonology? Or Bedari culture. Bedari culture gets us. What does Bedari culture actually get us? Oh. We just don't become a primitive tribe. Well, that that's kind of sucks. I, I guess we'll get Bedari culture just because we can. So that we get... You know, a little bit of extra food, I guess. Community of farmers, bonus growth, uh, perfect classes is the next on the list. Alright. Let's get this done. Why is this not finishing? We've got more than enough production, but... Why is this... Oh, shit! Wrong slot. Fuck. Well, that's me wasted, like, six turns of the fucking Falcon Sanctuary or whatever the fuck it's called. Um... I mean, I suppose if we don't get to build the Falcon Sanctuary... It's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit annoying, considering, you know, we need to hasten our our whatevers. Yeah, we kind of do need to hasten our whatevers. Let's build it. Let's get this on the go. Um, Other settlements will finish in five turns. What resources can we send our workers? We can send 10 production. Uh, or 10 food, actually. I'm going to say pro uh, food, actually. In fact, let's just let's just burn through it. Like we can just speed this whole thing up like 
to a ridiculous degree. Shit, and we can actually speed it up even further with the Falcon Horus. There we go, accelerated construction by two turns. We're two turns away. Uh, we should be getting a shit ton of production, and we're losing six per turn due to our Sanctuary of the Falcon nonsense. So, that's awesome. That's, that's actually fucking awesome. One of three stages of building is complete. I am so glad that we were able to, uh, to, to speed that up, because otherwise... We, uh, we wouldn't be in with any hope of accomplishing it, but hey-ho, we managed. Greening of the Sahara, everything's back to normal. A-OK -okay with me. Uh, what do we need for our next worker? 21? 21 food. I can, I can just about cope with that. Hey, hey There we go. Sanctuary of the Falcon. Hyracomplus. 4,240 BC. That is awesome. Trial successfully passed. Silver victory. Uh, what does silver victory mean? Is that good? To get the gold victory, complete the trial before 34 turns and get plus 30, plus 40. Ah, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. So basically, we need to complete it five turns prior. Ah, you know, it could have been it could have been worse. I, honestly, we probably would have done that around a similar time scale to the one that uh, that would have required the gold victory, if I hadn't fucked up and just put the builder in the lo in the wrong slot. But you know, it happens. It happens. What do we want to build? Actually, what do we want to build? Um, field of flax improves plus one food plus two production. That's pretty fucking good, actually. Population limit by three plus one production. Don't really care. Um, I think we want Field of Flax. Field of Flax is dope. Down here, is that where it's gonna build? Alright. Let's build it. 18 production. 18 production is something that I have definitely got. And we're gonna continue to gain production as we go. Uh, what do we need for the next worker? We need a lot more food. I do want to probably try and prioritize food. I think. Hmm. Star observations. Beautiful. Yeah. Also, we're going to get authority now, which is quite nice. Will allow us to, to fuck around with that a little bit. I look forward to, uh, to getting some bonuses and whatnot. Uh, I do indeed. Okay. Next worker should be coming online next turn. I guess we just dedicate that guy to food collection when it happens. Uh, accelerate the building by two turns, plus one culture during five turns, gathering, farming and breeding, three turns. Um, uh, I don't really care about any of this. This nonsense. Requirement, unite with the weaponed tribe in Thinnis. So we need, we can't even unlock those, uh, options anyway. No sweat, let's get some tech. Plus one production. I think we want culture, uh, not culture, authority, right? Like, I think that's totally the most useful of everything. Grant. Um, and we're looking very, very comfortable heading into the next couple of turns. With a new worker coming online right now. And the field of flax. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Which makes it really, really decent, actually. Like, unbelievably decent. Yeah, let's move you over there. So we continue getting our ridiculous amount of production. Um, we could probably do with improving this. Although it might seem like a little bit of a waste. What will that improve? That'll improve down there. Honestly, I think it's actually better straight up for us to just to build the field of flax. Because even though we miss out on one food, we get two production. And it's a... It's a higher total amount of resources that we gain from the field of flax than we do from the field of grain. I mean, don't get me wrong, we will get the field of grain eventually. But as a priority, I just don't think it's something that we need to worry about. Also, let's just do this one at the, the honoring the Falcon Horus as often as possible because it's absolutely insanely good. And just like that, one turn later, we end up getting our second field of flax. It, it, it saves us so much production. That's so unbelievably awesome. Um, oh my god, that's insane. That's actually insane. 
Yes. Sign me the fuck up. 16. Uh, honor to get that. Unfortunately, not quite yet, but hey-ho. Let's plop you into the building slot. And with that... With that, you can kind of see that our empire is coming together quite nicely. Yeah. I still don't know what this bar does, does down the side. Uh, I mean, chance of rebellion... Sure. Don't really know what it does. Uh, probability of attack. I don't know what that does. We should also probably devote a load more resources to actually scouting. Because as much as we have some intel right now, it's not enough to be comfortable. But hey-ho. We'll deal with that in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obda Potato. This has been Pre-Dynastic Egypt. I'll see you next time. Bye.